The NKIT apocalypse is upon us! That's right, just about every site is flooded with NKIT files, and we can't use them for everything, like all of the mods that we want to use on different GameCube games. So I made a tutorial to show you how. Okay, some of you have commented on my video asking how to convert the melee file into an ISO. And I actually had a huge problem with this myself. Um, I know that Slippy takes .nkit files just fine, but uh, if you're trying to play GameCube games on console, like through Nintendo, or if you're trying to play certain uh, modifications of the game, like uh, for example, like training mode or some other mods you want to do, you want to make sure you're using a .iso format so that way the game runs more smoothly. So there are a couple files we're going to mention today. Chiefly, you're going to want to get the NKIT 1.4 plus GameCube recovery files, and that link is going to take you here. Okay, we're going to want to hit this middle link right here that says NKIT 1.4 plus GameCube recovery files. Go ahead and download that guy. It only takes a few seconds, it's a very small file. Hit the arrow and click show in folder. And you're going to get this .7z file. Alright. So we can actually close out of our browser there. And we can right click and drag that to the desktop. And go over to 7zip or if you have WinRAR I think it works very similarly and you can actually hit extract to inkit 1.4 plus GameCube partitions. That'll look like this. So you can open this one up. You'll see a folder that says inkit. And you'll have a bunch of different folders here. And most videos I see on this make it way more complicated than it is. All we're going to do, we're going to right click and drag it onto the app. Go to 7-zip and hit extract here. This will take a minute. Once that's done, it'll look like this. It'll, it might say disk image file here, which, which sounds like it's a good thing. It sounds like it's a .iso, but of course when you right click on it and go to properties, you're going to see that, that a cursed .nkit file format we're trying to get rid of. So you're going to click and drag this guy over to convert to ISO. Now we're not converting to nkit and we're not going to recover to ISO. We're going to want to go over to convert to ISO. It's this first one here from the top. First application. You see how it says application over there? And then it's going to give you this funny little window here. and It's going to be like a command prompt going on. But this doesn't take very long. It's going to spit the app out really quickly here. And it'll tell you where it is too, which is also really helpful. Okay. So we got lucky this time. And we didn't run into any problems. So just go to Processed GameCube and you'll find your disk image file there. Okay. So there is a chance that it's going to say uh, match fail, okay? So it'll look like this. It'll say inkit valid, which looks like you're, you're good. You're smooth sailing. And then it'll say GameCube match fail as your file location. Which sounds scary. But as far as I know, this will run just fine. And you don't have anything to worry about. But if it does bug you, like it did me, drove me up a, a wall, you can actually go to this other link here. It's called redump.org slash downloads. And this is going to be in the description as well. So you'll scroll down to Nintendo GameCube, because Melee is for the GameCube, obviously. Go to dat file. And it, I think it's just like a text file, basically. It's, it downloads really quickly. So second verse, same as the first. We're going to go to that little arrow and go to Show in Folder, so we don't have to look for it. And you can go ahead and actually extract this to your 
your uh, your desktop. Can't think of the word. Okay, and it'll say Nintendo GameCube dat file. It'll have the date and all that good stuff there. And so you're going to I like to cut and place paste. So we're going to right click and hit cut. Go back into InKit. Go to DATS, that's right at the top. It's the first folder. And we're gonna go to Redump, okay? And it might be empty and it might say redump.dat, okay? You can go ahead and paste that file in there. If redump.dat is already in there and you're still getting the match fail, you can throw it in right alongside that redump.dat, it'll work just fine, okay? So now what, look what happens when we go through it again. We grab our melee here, and we go to convert to ISO. Just take an incredibly long time for some reason. Say ink it valid, full verify. This is going to be in the process folder under GameCube. Okay. So go to process and then see we have GameCube match fail and then we have GameCube. So both these files should run just fine, just, just a reminder, but um, there is a way to fix it. Hey, really quick, we'll get back to the video here. I just want to show you some content to look forward to on the channel. And suddenly he just starts stealing himself. Look at him. Disrespectful. I will not stand for this. This is this is not gonna happen. The hammer? The taunt? Inhale. And punch. That's how you do it. If you want more goofy content like this and follow my journey through ranked mode and other tournament series then definitely check back on the channel because I'll have plenty of content like that. Now we have our game patched to an ISO. Now I'm assuming most of you are here because you want to get training mode on uh, Slippy working. You're going to go ahead and click that last link in the description there. It's going to take you to Smashboards and you want to click this green download link here right in the center of the page. So that's going to get you a training mode folder, which you're going to extract. And once you extract it, it will look like this, right? So go into TM, which stands for training mode, ISO builder. Click on Windows. All my tutorials are going to be for Windows because that's the only operating system I'm familiar with and tends to be the most popular. And it says drag melee version 1.02 ISO here. So we're going to go back into NKIT, and to even humor you, I'll go ahead and go to the match fail version to show you that it works. You want to grab this guy, and you're going to throw him onto that batch file thingy here. You're going to get this command prompt looking window, uh, pressing Q to continue. And there's your, there's your ISO. So what I like to do, since I, I want to run regular melee and I want to run the training mode all in the same, um, in the same go, I might want to switch between them. So I'm actually going to make a folder called Slippy. You can just right click anywhere and then, and then make, make your folder. I'm going to say this folder is called Slippy, so that way I can, I can keep it straight. And that way I have training mode version 3.0 alpha, and then I also have regular melee. So that way when I open up Slippy, <coughs> I can go to config, I can go to paths. It should be in general, but go ahead and hit paths, and click add. All right. 
And we're going to find that SIPI folder. It's on our desktop. Hit add. So we're going to hit refresh and then we should see both of those pop up there. So now we can boot into regular melee. Or if we want to, we can boot into Uncle Punch. Now you'll notice two things. One, we have music. And two, we have these black bars here, right? So let's get rid of those. We're going to right click on uh, training mode. We're going to hit properties, go to gecko code, and then do widescreen 16.9, 16 by 9. Okay, hit play. And that should give you widescreen no problem. Super quick, there's just a few more file formats that I wanted to mention today that you might have questions about. Uh, go ahead and download Dolphin. It's one of the links in the description down, down there below. This is what it looks like. Hit this first button here in the Windows X64. That's most likely going to be the one you want to use. If not, uh, maybe try some earlier versions if you run into problems. So once that downloads, it's going to give you a .exe file. Go ahead and hit run and that will download Dolphin for you. So instead of a red Dolphin, like for Slippy, it's going to be a blue one. It'll look like this when you first open it up. Uh, go ahead and navigate to your ROMs folder after double clicking on the center here. We're going to use the Slippy folder that we worked on earlier. Uh, also notate that you get an error message when you try and play an in-kit game about the compatibility issues that you might run into. Also note that if you go to convert file, it doesn't want to do it for you. I've run into a lot of errors this way too. But uh, we already have ISO files, you already know how to do that. Um, Games will run just fine on here too. And you can also convert them. So there's a couple different formats I don't want to talk about here. Uh, one is RBZ. RBZ is really cool because it's the best file format for like emulation devices like the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus that runs GameCube games. It runs some of them really well. It's uh, super compressed and the games run really well. So. That's the file format you would use to that. You just select RVZ and hit convert, and then it'll it'll switch the game. Uh, another format you might run into is GCZ. It's kind of an older file format, but uh, if you if you do happen to get a GCZ file, if if it's like uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee.GCZ. You, would, you could just hit ISO and it would convert it back to a regular ISO. You wouldn't have any compatibility issues. Alright, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. That's the video for today. I plan on doing lots more tutorials and, of course, other Melee content.